y'all this is sandy here welcome back to my channel today i am in a small powder room um, that is used for gas in my home and it has never really really been decorated it's pretty small and very very simple but today since we're on quarantine i just decided that i would begin to work on some of these projects of things that have been neglected in my home forever and finally get some stuff done. So today is the day that this room gets a little bit of a facelift. I didn't do a whole, whole lot, but I ordered a few things off of uh, Walmart and Target. So that's what I'm going to be sharing today. So the room right now, it just has that little shelf there. Um, and then I put just a little floral there on top of the commode. And I have that little basket there that I actually got at Christmas time from Dollar Tree that I put toilet paper in just because I didn't have a toilet paper holder. And I've got two pictures. Um, and the pictures I'm going to keep, I really like them. These are pictures that I picked up from my travels. And I like to have artwork that has a meaning for to me or like a special memory. So this one is from Rio de Janeiro in brazil and i love it i love the colorfulness of it and i just thought this was a perfect place for it and then over here um i have a picture here that i picked up from costa rica again it's very colorful and it is just about the memory for me so i like that and i'm going to keep those in here everything else that i do is going to be fairly simple but i think it will just add just a little bit of something here for just so that when i do have guests and they come in here you know it's just not so plain so here we go so this is one of the pieces that i ordered to go in that bathroom i wanted the small um, shelf it came from walmart i ordered it online it's a little bit bigger than what i wanted but i've got it now so i'm going to give it a try it is by Zena Home, so I'm going to go ahead and put that together. And then I picked up this uh, for the toilet paper holder, also from Walmart. I kind of like the look of this um, material in here. Kind of has a, a kind of a rustic look or whatever, so like that. And then I picked up this rug, also from um, ordering online from Target.com. I love this blue color. So I'm going to add that in there as well. So I've got this. I'm going to go ahead and keep with the decor. Put that in the corner there. And I just love the color of this rug. So it just matches perfectly. I'm very pleased with this. And it was really cheap too. I think it was like $9.99 or something like that. All right, so I stopped in Burlington and saw this little uh, stand, which is the perfect size for what I'm looking for. I'm tipping it over. It's very, very lightweight, so I'll have to be careful with what I put on there. It was $9.99, so not a bad price. Not the color that I wanted, but I do like it. So I had this already at home that I had purchased for another project and it is a foil metallic paint. So I'm gonna just spray paint this and I'm gonna use that in that space in the bathroom because I think it's a perfect size. And that's kind of all I needed was just a little stand to hold maybe hand towels or something like that. And now for the reveal of bathroom number one. So the first thing that you see there is the stand that I spray painted. I think it turned out really nicely. And then I ended up doing a painting. Um, I did a DIY painting that I put up above the little uh, hanging shelf. And there's my rug there. I got those little calla lilies in the same color as the rug. I got found those on Amazon. And then I found a faux tree that I like. It was almost too big for in there, but I really like the addition of some greenery in there. And then I have my same pictures that I spoke about earlier in the video. They're still up there. I just love my little DIY painting. This was the first time that I ever attempted anything like this. So, you know, I, I um, wasn't sure if I would pull it off or whatever, but I say, you know what, I'm going to use it. I put my sweat equity into it, so I'm going to enjoy it. So that's all I did. Um, the total for this bathroom. 
the total ended up being just over $60, but that was because of the plant, um, the, the tree, it was um, $29.99 by itself. So not a huge investment, but I really like the way that it looks. It's so much better than just the plain look that I had before. And I'm really liking the addition of the color in here. I think it made a difference and it does makes the room look a little bit larger surprisingly I'm really enjoying my painting and for my first one I don't think it turned out too too bad drop down in the comments and let me know what you think um, but yeah this is the first bathroom and now we're going to move over here to the water closet So this is what the water closet looks like now. It's pretty much bare. There is nothing really on the wall except for that one picture. I've got a bath scale over here. It's got a towel rack behind the toilet, which is kind of weird. So I don't use that. I'd like to have it removed and have the wall patched up. But for right now, it is there. Um, but basically, I'm just trying to find something to create just a little bit of a um I don't know oasis I guess <laughs> we spend a little bit of time in our water closet sometimes so you may as well have something pleasant to look at right okay so now this is the reveal of the water closet with the updates that I've done in here and I basically added a couple more pictures on the wall um, I got this one that I really, really love that says she is clothed with strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future. Um, and I picked that up from a thrift store. I put a shelf in here with a candle and a little plant on here and a little basket for some uh, personal toiletry items. I got a couple more pictures here. This one just says inhale, exhale. And then the think happy, be happy is the sign I already had. And then I put my Paris sign in here. I hauled this the other day from Hobby Lobby. I got that for 90% off. So it just added just a little bit of, I don't know, interest to the, to the water closet because as I said before, it was very, very bare. So I really, really, really like it. I like the ideal of having things that speak to me when I um, look at the wall or whatever. So I, I really like that positive affirmations and everything. So I am enjoying how it turned out. And this room to put together was right at about $40. So it wasn't too bad for the cost of both of the bathrooms, throwing in a couple of thrifted pieces and a couple pieces from the 90% off rack. So, you know, both rooms together was just about $100 or a little bit less. So I thought it was a pretty good deal, but it made a big difference in the rooms, I feel. So I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it motivating for some things that you might be able to do, little subtle changes to change the look and feel of a space in your home. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you will subscribe and that you will stop back by again next time to see what I'm doing over here on the Sister Cousin channel. Until then, bye-bye.